Hey everybody, I wanted to do some sample problems here. So this is in Bradley May Burstyn, um, 17.21. Uh, it's this problem right here, okay? And we're going to run through a couple of um, math questions. I feel like there was a ton of um, math questions that, uh, <laughs> um, that dealt with acetic acid. And I just wanted to show you some that had to do with a different weak acid, okay? So I transcribed all the information. Here it is. Now, one of the... Remember, there are only two types of problems. And so it's either find the constant or find the conditions. So the pH is related to the conditions, so we need the constant. I think that when you look up the constant, you get 1.38 times 10 to the minus 4. And just to let you know um, how how what I did is I just got out my phone and okay I googled it. It's hard to see, but there it is right there, lactic acid, and it's 1.3 times 10 to the minus 4. However you get that value, that's great. I will give it to you on tests and stuff, but if you're doing homework and you can't seem to find it, um, just Google it. The key is knowing when you need it. <laughs> and so... Um, Anyways, typically we try to find um, what the um, what the conditions are because that's kind of chemically more um, appropriate. So, regardless, there we go. Okay, so now it says that the problem says it's twelve a point one two molar in lactic acid and point one one molar in sodium lactate. So. This is not a titration problem. This is only a buffer problem. So we only have to do our equilibrium step. Okay? So now we do our equilibrium step. And so we do lactic acid. Oh, but wait, we don't know the formula of lactic acid. Actually, let me dispel any of the rumors because it doesn't matter what the formula for lactic acid is. All it needs to be is a weak acid. Is it on the list of strong acids? Nope. Then it's a weak acid plus water is in equilibrium with H3O plus plus A minus. That is going to be the reaction we do every time. So now it's 0.12. Water doesn't matter. Let me draw my ICE chart in a little bit better. Okay. This is 0 and this is 0.11. Okay, so now remember it shifts this way, so this is minus x plus x plus x. Okay, and so we do 0 0.12 minus x, we do x, and we do 0 0.11 plus x. Okay, so now we know that Ka equals the products over the reactants. The products is x times 0 0.11 plus x all over 0 0.12 minus x. Okay. So, and that is equal to 1.38 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay. So remember that we assume that these are small. So we go, get cords out of the way here. Okay, so we go 1.38 times 10 to the minus 4 times 0.12, right? Because we multiply up, okay, times 0.12, and that is, let me put that back in focus here. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get it to focus, focus, focus. Let's see, maybe if it's the writing is there. Uh, hmm. Well, oh, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying. There we go. Okay. So, times 0.12 divided by 0.11, okay, 
and that is equal to ah, it's still fuzzy but I'm not going to spend any more time doing this so we get x equals 1.51 times 10 to the minus 4 that's our x value and so now we want the pH okay and that equals the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration which in this case is this value so we do the negative log negative log of that and so we get that the pH equals 3.82 okay but now the second part is a little different because instead of doing um, instead of knowing the concentration in the solution it's going to be the concentration and then you're mixing them okay so there we go okay so if we're mixing them and we have a concentration now we have to do an m1 v1 equals m2 v2 problem because now we're doing a dilution it still doesn't matter what the formulas for these things are but we're doing a dilution and so now <laughs> we have to make sure we're in the right units so this is molarity 1 so that's 0 0.13 times volume 1 0 0.085 equals m2 that's what we're trying to do what's our new molarity after these two things are mixed times 0.08 okay so we go 0.13 times 0.085 divided by 0.18 and when we do that, we get a new concentration. After this thing has been diluted, we get a new concentration of 0.0614 molar. That makes sense because we're diluting it over half. This is 10 milliliters more, and it's over half. So now, what is our what is our new volume or our new uh, concentration of? sodium lactate well m1v1 equals m2v2 okay and now what's our our old molarity our starting molarity was 0.15 times v1 was 95 milliliters equals m2 that's what we're solving for times the new volume is 0 0.108 milliliters so again 0 0.1 Eight O milliliters helps if I say this. So again, what we're doing is because we're diluting it down, we're mixing the the um, the two containers. We have now have a new solution with a new concentration with a volume of 180 milliliters. So it's 0 0.15 times 0 0.095 divided by 0 0.180, and so that equals. So the new molarity equals 0 0.0792 molar. Okay? And again, that makes sense too because it was diluted just slightly less than half. Okay? Now once we have that, now have we are we doing a titration? Are we adding a strong or strong acid or strong base to that? No, we're not. So we only have to worry about doing our equilibrium step. Okay? It's not until we add a strong acid or a strong base to the buffer that we have to do that. So just like the last one, now we don't have to, just like part A, we don't have to um, know what the formula is. We can just put in HA, gives us H3O plus, plus A minus. Now we plug it in. What's our concentration of HA? It's zero, uh, let me make my ICE chart here. Okay, so it's 0 0.0614, and this is, doesn't matter, and this is 0, and this is 0 0.0792. Okay, again, we shift this way because that's 0. So, it's, so this is minus x, plus x, plus x, and now we go 0 0.0614 minus x run out of room all the time 0 0.0792 plus x so now we take our ka 1.38 times 10 to the minus 4 that equals products x 
0 0.0792 plus x all over 0 0.0614 minus x. Okay. And so again, normal op standard operating x's cancel because they're really small. So 1.38 times 10 to the minus 4 times 0 0.0614. Okay, divided by 0 0.0792, and so we get an x, we get x equal to 1.07 times 10 to the minus 4, okay, which that also happens to equal the concentration of H3O+, plus, because see it's in this column, okay, and so now we do the negative log of that, and we get a pH equal to 3.97. Okay, so now just because I'm dorky, let's compare these two values. Okay, 3.82, 3.97. Okay, now if I were to ask the question, why are they different? It's the same compound, same equilibrium comp constant, why are they different? Well, it's because the ratio here, the pHs are different. This one's 3.82. This one is 3.97. It's because the ratio of HA to A minus is different. Whenever you have a buffer, the ratio of this controls the pH. Okay, so as this ratio changes, it become, the pH changes. So that's kind of the chemical principle behind it all. Okay, I hope that clears up any problems you may have.